Welcome everyone to another Transformers review. This is Like It's 1985 and today I'll be taking a look at Transformers Alternators Shock Blast, which really should be called Shock Wave, as we all know, uh, based on the Generation 1 character of the same name. However, if you do look at the license plate, it does have a nice little uh, nod towards the Shock Wave name with uh, abbreviated letters, so Shock Wave. Now, on to the transformation. Uh, first thing I'd like to do is pop all the doors open. There's four of them that need to be opened up. Uh, since this is based on an RX-8 uh, sports coupe, that would be uh, accurate to the actual car. And then what you want to do is take the roof section and just pull it up and uh, pop it loose like that. And then to make it easier, I like to pull the rear section of the car down like this. Uh, it allows you to concentrate on the leg section. Uh, first thing you want to do for the legs is you want to take this piece here, which is the exhaust uh, piece here, take it out. Uh, later becomes the gun in robot mode. Uh, it holds the legs together, so now that we can go ahead and separate the legs. Uh, once the legs are separated, what you want to do, there's these back seats here. You want to fold them to the side on each uh, leg. Uh, what that allows you to do is basically extend out the leg. Comes up like this, like that. And the same thing happens on the other leg. Now, uh, next thing we want to do is we actually want to rotate the leg around like this so that this side is facing towards us now. Uh, we'll do the same thing over here. And then what you want to do is rotate this around like that and that around like that. So to finish off the, I guess you call it the feet section, on the back here, you want to take this piece here, fold it in like this, fold in the rear seat, and then fold in the rear door like that. And you can do the same exact thing on this side. Let's fold that in, fold in the seat, and fold in the rear door. Now on the front, <clears throat> you want to take the bumper section and pull it out. Go ahead and do that right now. See how that kind of extends out like that. And then there's this piece here. I'm going to take this and you can see how it kind of slots in like that. So I guess it gives uh, Shock Blast a little toes, I guess. Um, when I first transformed it a while back, I missed this part of the uh, transformation, so I'm glad I figured that out. Uh, same thing, I'm going to bring this piece up here. And what this piece does is just kind of keeps this piece uh, from folding in, I guess, and, and keeping the, uh, the uh, feet stable. So, for the uh, upper part of the robot mode, we basically want to take this section here, separate it from the, from the front of the car, and uh, let's see, this needs to go, there we go, same thing deal, same deal on the other side. <clears throat> then what you've got is these uh, pieces, and you want to take this and you want to, see this should fold in like that, there we go, like that, seats fold down, and what you've got now is the midsection of the robot mode. And so now that you've got the midsection, what you want to do actually with the leg or the crotch area, you want to rotate the legs around like, let's see, it's out of the way. Rotate around so you've got, again, once again, you have the, uh, the, uh, the painted side facing you because this is actually going to be the front of the robot. Well, let me see if we can get this to go here. You know, legs, there we go like that. So you got that. And so you've got these two pegs here and the corresponding holes there. You want to make sure you line them up and push down really hard. And that will take care of pretty much the torso and the legs. Now, on to the arms. So the arm assembly uh, gets pegged in here, but if you kind of pull the, uh, the wheels towards you, uh, they pull like that, uh, rotate them to the side like this, not really rotate, but um, extend them out to the side. <clears throat> and then what you want to do is extend the arms out, rotate this piece down like that, extend the arm out, 
and rotate down like that. So you've got the tires on the back of the shoulder, I guess you call it. Separate this right about there, it should pop out like that. You see there's a gap there now. <clears throat> here is the head, and the head needs to come up through this little section here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to the hood, and if the head gets lined up properly, it'll actually uh, pop up through that small section there. And sometimes it's just a matter of getting that the head lined up just right so that pops up like that. There we go. You can see the hood's wanting to come off. Let me see if I can get that back in place there. And then straighten out the arms. Now on this back section here, you want to take this, fold it in, and it gets uh, stored like that. And welcome back. Here is Alternator's Shock Blast in his robot mode. And the only thing I did off camera was I situated the hood. What happened during the transformation is this side of the hood popped up because it was being forced up by the, the head coming through this very small uh, gap in the uh, hood, which is a uh, gripe that a lot of other people have mentioned in their reviews of the uh, Shock Blast or the Jazz uh, alternators. So uh, you can try to hold it down during the, the process of, you know, getting the head to come through, or you can just go after it like I did and just uh, resituate this part so that it's all flush against this part here. That's all I did off camera. But uh, yeah, the robot mode is very nice. Let's do a little 360. Now the color uh, scheme, I wanted to talk a little bit about that. It's a really dark blue, but it really uh, almost comes across as kind of purple and from certain angles, from certain lighting conditions. And so it does, uh, in that sense, uh, really uh, it really is a homage to Generation 1 uh, Shockwave because as you all know Shockwave, uh, Generation 1 Shockwave was a uh, purple, a deep purple colored uh, Decepticon. Uh, so very nice and the head sculpt of course is very Generation 1 inspired as you can see there and the it does have very nice light piping. You can see there's a mono eye there and there's this little triangle piece of plastic here. Now if you put your finger across it you can see you're basically blocking the light and remove your finger and let the light in. Light piping, very nice, very cool. So yes, I have to say this is one of my favorite uh, Transformer Alternators figures uh, because, well first of all, because it does have nice Generation 1 Shockwave influences, but also I really like the RX-8 uh, sports car mode, the alt mode, and the uh, robot mode looks pretty darn good too as well. Uh, one other thing you can see uh, on his left arm, he has the translucent purple plastic uh, like he does with the Generation 1 uh, Shockwave toy. So very cool there as well. Um, and nice, just nice design elements with the Decepticon logos on either uh, shoulder there. Um, so yeah, the, uh, the other thing about the, uh, the weapon here, this is the, the exhaust which transforms into the weapon. All you got to do is... Uh, take these pieces out and then take the handle down and there you have a, a weapon. Now some one reviewer pointed out well really if you want to be generation one you wouldn't have him with a weapon because uh, in his generation one incarnation he has this laser uh, hand for a weapon so but it's available if you want to use it for your figure. Uh, so yeah I mean it's a uh, the only thing I can think about that maybe not is not so good is that because the uh, because Shockwave basically is a car mode with the doors like this going out, this is very reminiscent of an Autobot. Uh, but I think he makes I think it works pretty well. Um, you know, uh, like the uh, purple uh, paint applications here on his thighs, really nice, very cool. Um, not much else I can say. I guess uh, I definitely recommend it. Uh, the transformation is a little bit tricky, uh, especially like I say with the uh, the head coming through the the uh, the hood here. Um, but other than that, it's pretty straightforward, pretty nice uh, transformation. 
All right, well, thanks for watching. This has been my review of Transformers Alternators Shock Blast.